My name is Sal. This is my 2011 GT500. Um, it's equipped with a 4-inch cow hood to to complement the supercharger. It's a 3.6 Kenny Bell supercharger on 23 pounds of boost. I have uh, Cervini side scoops on the on the side of the car, followed by uh, Super Snake stripes down the down the lines of the car. I built a car that was going to be street friendly, but at the same time have the power to back it up when I need it. I can take this around town Monday through Friday, but on the weekends it could be a monster at the track. Um, it's making 950 wheels, it's making 950 horsepower to the wheels. Currently, I'm sitting on Verde Custom wheels up front. They're 20 by nine. And, they're 20 by nine and a half up front wrapped in needle tires. In the back I have Weld Racing 17x10 wheels wrapped in M&H Racemaster 325s. Without any, uh, I have to run a, a, a drag slick setup in the back due to the power she makes. If not, I, will, I won't have any traction. The car is race red from factory. I keep it in its pristine condition by washing and, wa and waxing it almost every week. On top of the paint I have Super Snake stripes. This is this car is not a Super Snake but it it it's fat it does keep up and beat most of them that I've ever came across. I have a carbon fiber trim as well on the spoiler and on the interior. So here where I'm sitting in my 2011 GT500 currently sitting on Ford Racing Recaro seats. These were custom made by Roadwire Leather Interiors with a red leather, a red Alcantara suede, and carbon fiber stitching to match the stripes on the outside. I had them embroidered with the Shelby, with the Carol Shelby signature on the headrest and the Shelby logo. So to monitor the car, I use Aeroforce gauges. I have four gauges in the car to, man to monitor all the parameters that the car gives me. Um, these I find very important in a vehicle that's built like mine. Obviously none of this matters if you don't have something under the hood to back it up. Let me show you. So what you're looking at here is my 5.4. 2011 GT500. I got it stock making 460 470 horsepower to the wheels. Obviously that was not enough so I went to Kenny Bell got a 3.6 supercharger now I'm making double the power.